Over the years, I've accumulated many hobbies, and when I think about it, they actually changed my life. I've sewed my own clothes, played the flute, did a lot of embroidery, scrapbooking, reading, painting, climbing, and most recently, filmmaking. With every hobby, I thought, this is the one. This is the thing that I will turn into my career. Oh, capitalism. You guessed it, that never happened. Do I give up on things too quickly? Am I impatient? Well, maybe. But that doesn't matter, because all these hobbies, they've changed my life in ways I've never thought they would. I want to crochet an entire patchwork cardigan as a total beginner. It may be wiser to start with like a beginner's project, a beanie, a sock, but who wants a beanie, right? I don't. So I have four and a half days. Technically it would be possible, practically probably not. Am I still going to do it? Yes. The reason why I want to crochet an entire cardigan as a complete beginner is because I can't find nice clothing. My wardrobe basically consists of plain black and brown knitwear. Boring. Honestly, I need some color in my life. So I'm thinking a dark shade of green, a light shade of green, and then some like brown orangey color and maybe um, an off-white. I know they're still brown, but there's plenty of color. Okay, come on. The next step is to run to the shops and get the stuff, get the yarn, get the needle and start crocheting. Having many hobbies taught me to try new things. Even when you have no idea whether you'll be good at it or whether you'll like it. Trying new things can be scary, but also a lot of fun. It broadens your perspective and mind, it teaches you how to be patient and you learn about yourself in the process. Why do you like this new hobby or why not? And what made you throw your crochet needle through the room and does that mean you should quit or continue? Trying new things might be one of the most valuable things in life and it can be as small as picking up a new book to read. We got crochet hook. I don't know what this is called. A darn needle. Yeah, darning needle set. Oh, I actually got the right thing. <laughs> Measurement tape, wooden buttons, stitch markers. And we've got a whole bunch of yarn. This is not, oh, okay. I know what you're thinking. Where's the green? There's no green. Now, I looked everywhere and it was so much harder to find the right yarn than I thought. So we have to do with what I found. Having hobbies also taught me how to enjoy myself when I'm alone. It gives me something to do instead of the endless phone scrolling and it provides space to be creative, to let my mind roam free without any boundaries. This took an hour. My first tiny piece of crochet. Yeah, this is gonna take a little bit longer to learn, <laughs> I think. Oh. When you allow yourself space to be alone and be creative, you might be surprised by what you come up with, by what you'll create. It's truly an amazing feeling when you actually make something yourself. You'll cherish it forever. Proost! Proost! Mm. Yesterday I finished not one, not two, but two and a half squares. Mm -hmm. Before I decided I was gonna crochet my own cardigan, I was already shopping for vintage clothing online to get some color in my wardrobe. I got a package, it's also a cardigan, so if all goes south with my own project, then hopefully I have at least a nice cardigan. But we'll see, because I bought it on Vinted and it's always a hit or miss. These days we're taught to work hard and long and that anything can be turned into a side hustle. It often feels like the grind never stops, which is why having at least one hobby is so important. And remember, you don't have to be good at it, you don't have to turn it into a handmade business. It's not about money, it's about enjoying yourself in new ways and learning, taking your mind off things and worries. Or maybe you're just looking for ways to spice up your week when every day feels kind of the same. Finally, the last square of this color. It's day three and I finished 20 squares. Also, I have a massive cold. What is this voice? I don't know. Can't really use this cold right now because I have so much more crochet to do. So yeah, four days, that was definitely too ambitious, but you know, 20 squares, 20 squares done. Look how much. <laughs> I'm actually impressed. I'm also getting so fast with it, but it still just takes up so much time. Moving on to the next color. Okay, bye. I will continue crocheting and sneezing. Mm -hmm. 
So then, how to find a new hobby? Well, coming from someone with a million hobbies, just try things. Maybe start with something you think you'll enjoy, or do the opposite and start with a hobby that's completely out of your comfort zone. But just try. It's okay if you don't like it, just try something else and try to enjoy the process of learning. Even if you didn't like it, I'm sure it taught you something. Hobbies are fun. You should try it someday.